guys, they are about to, the jury is about to go into uh, the jury room, and they're about to um, make a decision on what's going to happen to the defendants and um, the triple X testosterone. Trial, you know, he just said the verdict form. They about to do the verdict, man. So these guys are about to hear their fate. Derek Williams, the defendant in this case, has been accused in count one of the crime of murder in the first degree, and in count two of the crime of armed robbery. Armed robbery. Michael Bowright, a defendant in this case, has been accused in count one of the crime of murder in the first degree, and in count two of the crime of armed robbery. And Trayvon Newsom, the defendant in this case, has been accused in count one of the crime of murder in the first degree and in count two of the crime of armed robbery. You see, they gave Trayvon Newsom first degree because he had that gun. And he, he participated, even though he didn't pull the trigger, he participated in, in leading to acts being um, unalive. In the first degree and armed robbery as charged in the indictment. Murder in the first degree includes the lesser crimes of murder in the second degree and manslaughter, all of which are unlawful. However, a killing that was excusable or that was committed by the justifiable use of deadly force is lawful. If you find Jose Anfroy was killed by Diedrich Williams, you should then consider the circumstances surrounding the killing in deciding if the killing was murder in the first degree, or was murder in the second degree, or was manslaughter, or whether the killing was excusable or resulted from the justifiable use of deadly force. I don't think no killing is well, the killing of a human being if you're trying to say um, self-defense, but we all know that's not what this was. There was just too much evidence, guys. Too much. To commit a felony in any dwelling house in which the defendant was at the time. The evidence piled up like the Eiffel Tower. It was so much. And therefore lawful under any one of the following three circumstances. Number one. When the killing is committed by accident, oh guys, I forgot to tell you. Don't forget to go over to Sisters Debate. I have a new channel <laughs> called Sisters Debate, and go subscribe to that channel. We need your support, guys. Support us. You know, we're gonna put out some more videos, but we just want to see how this video is gonna do, so we can pretty much see. You know, Four, what you guys three. like and what you don't like. But it's called Sisters Debate. You know, I can leave, I'm going to leave the link on the bottom of this description so you can just press it, go over there and subscribe. And, you know, comment, let us know. Let us know what topics you want us to discuss and debate. Great bodily harm if used in the ordinary and usual manner contemplated by its design and construction. An object not designed to inflict bodily harm may nonetheless be a dangerous weapon if it was used in a manner likely to cause death or great bodily harm. Great bodily harm means great as distinguished from slight, trivial, minor, or moderate harm. Guys, I will see you and guys such, later. Please like and subscribe. Music. Also hit the bell notification so you won't miss another on. video. I love you guys. Always thinking about you until next time. It is your girl. Everything is me. And I will see you guys in another one. Um, I'm going to come back and do another recap of this. But right now, he's reading down all the information that the um, jurors need. Wow. And look, now, Deidre Williams has a very serious look on his face right now. There's no laughing. There's no giggling anymore. Maybe he's seeing now how serious it is. But he should have known that when they first came into court the first time when they were late. should then consider the circumstances surrounding the killing and deciding if the killing was murder in the first degree or was murder in the second degree or was manslaughter or whether the killing was excusable or resulted from the justifiable use of deadly force. 
Yeah, and um, DJ Williams' lawyer is scratching his head. And you know, scratching his head is confusion. And it's, it's not looking good. It's sounding really bad. It's not looking good. A killing of a human being is excusable and therefore lawful under any one of the following It's crazy. Hold on. I'm going to have to show y'all that. Hold on. I'll be 